Freshman year all over again for fistful of, uh, a fistful of new lawmakers on Capitol Hill. House Speaker designate John Boehner already at the blackboard in front of his incoming uh, Republican class, stressing goal number one and that is closing Uncle Sam's checkbook. Congressman elect Raul Labrador, Republican from Idaho, good morning to you and welcome to Washington. Well, thank you, Bill. It's great to be here. You know, you, you beat a congressman, a Democrat in your district, who voted against cap and trade. I think he was uh, against other um, big Democrat uh, items, and he, he was he was defeated by yours truly just about two, or you uh, two weeks ago. You said a couple things. I want to get to the heart of this now. You said we need to make sure we're humble about what we are doing. What does that mean? You know, I think the Democrats made a huge mistake two years ago when they thought that their mandate meant that they should ignore the American people. They ignored the American people for the last two years, and they were fired. So if we ignore the American people for the next two years and we're not humble about our victory, we don't do the things that we were asked to do, I think we're going to be fired as well. So we need to uh, make let, those decisions. Yeah, let, me, decisions. let me stop you. What, what do you think the American people are asking folks like you to do? They're asking for, number one, fiscal discipline. There's nothing more important right now that we can do in Washington, D.C. than to be fiscally responsible. You know, all small businesses throughout the United States are, are cutting their, their checkbooks. They're, they're cutting their, their spending, and they want us to do the same thing. Yeah. When you were at an orientation, I think, the other day, uh, there were a lot of reflections on 1994, uh, 16 years ago, and one of the themes was don't rush it. I'm not quite sure what that means because you had a 100-day plan by Newt Gingrich and others in early of 1995, uh, early part of that year. Well, what does don't rush it mean now, knowing that the clock is running and, and I mean, you just said it yourself. If you do not get things done over the next two years, you could be out of a job. Well, I think what they were talking about when they said don't rush it is don't rush the decisions that you're making about your chief of staff, about your staff. We can actually just hire a handful of people and actually do the work that is correct. Because what they, we don't want to do is make a mistake early that's going to cost us three or four months later that we're going to have to pay for. So we want to do all the right things. We want to do it in a methodical way. But we want to uh, keep the promises that we made. Okay. Um, real things, real facts, real things that will come out of this Congress come January. What is the one thing the American people should expect? You know, I think they should expect us in, in the House of Representatives to, to repeal Obamacare. And I think we will do everything we can to repeal Obamacare. And I think they expect us, number two, to, to uh, spend less, to re significantly reduce the, the cost of government. So health care, number one. Fiscal responsibility, number two. Correct. And, and given the composition of the House, you could probably, probably pass a few uh, pieces of legislation that go toward that. But then it bounces over to the Senate side, and you're about to find out how Washington works. How patient are the American people? You know, I think they're going to lose their patience with the Senate if they don't do the right thing. As you know, there's a, a great number, of, you know, over 30, close to 30 senators who are going to be running for re-election in two years. And a lot of them are Democrats. And if they don't join the Republican Party, I think they're going to see uh, their, their seats lost, just like many Many Democrats lost their seats well, this welcome year. Welcome to Washington. Good luck finding everything, and we will follow it from here. Raul Labrador, Republican of Idaho, uh, with me now. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you, Bill. All right, 19 past. Martha. All right, Bill, we take you back now. To